You must give up the right to understand God's plan before we obey. You must give up the right to understand God's plan before we obey. Hebrews 11, 8. You see, this is what I was telling you initially. If I was to see money before starting this building, we would never have started. We would never have started. Zero in the account, you cut short. I was telling the staff today, I was speaking to some men of God. They said, this, this lockdown, they had to sack church, church workers. They had to reduce staff. They had to reduce staff pay. Interestingly, Bridge, this year we have added how many staff? Three more staff. We have added three more. We have not reduced staff. We have not reduced allowance. Why? Let's read, go. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Is that faith? I thought faith is where you know where you are going. He said he went not, give me NLT. He didn't know where he was going. It's good, Minister Davis is here. You came at the right time. This one is for you. You ask a question on the platform. Abraham didn't know where he was going, but he obeyed. You must, you must not always know where you are going before you obey. You know what? If you can't do God's work, you want to know. So, God, if I go, will I get food? <laughs> God, if I go, would my life be okay? God, who will take care of my family? God. Abraham said, Sarah! Oga, Hitler, we go. Where are you going? I don't know. Which destination? I don't know. He said, I should go. He will make me a great nation. We are going. Abraham, have you heard? Well, ah, Sarah, I'm going. Lord said, ah, Uncle, if you have heard, I'm following you also. But these days, you know why we don't? Oh, you can take your seat. You know why we don't follow? We won't deceive result before we follow. But God says, Follow me. It's faith, and I'll give you result. You want to see result? What result do you want to see? He, read it again. Please read it again. Some of you never read your Bible to you come here. Read, go. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home. To leave. To leave. To leave. To leave. And go to another land that God will give him as an inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. When I read this, my head aches. Isn't it foolishness to do this? Are you understanding? Is it not foolishness? She said, what is foolishness? What are you heading to? What are you going to get? Why have you done this? How would it benefit you? But you know something? When we're young, there's a song we used to sing. I'm just a fool, a fool in love with you. You, you date people when you don't even know. You have sex with people when you don't even know they have HIV or not. Is it true? People sit in car, not knowing whether the car will have an accident or not. They sit in. When you are coming, do you know the name of the pilot? <laughs> do you know whether it's a Buddhist occult, alcoholic, drunkard? You don't even know. But you trust that God will take you and you will land safely. We can trust God for certain things, but why don't we trust him for everything? Take me back to 1995. I'll still do God's work. Say, Pastor, it's because he has blessed you. Of course. <laughs> I still remember there were holes under my shoe. I wore my Santiago with paper inside. And when it rained, that is my trouble today because it will get wet. When you are preaching, you can't kneel down like this. You have to kneel down like that. So nobody sees the under of your shoe. The shoe looks like a cowboy shoe. <laughs> and when I'm walking, they call me Texas Ranger. May any day. You buckle so many things. I don't joke with it. I send a white me as a son. Not white. You walk with Texas Ranger until your legs become this. The day somebody sees the shoe, they can't even buy you one. So they go and change the shoe. And sometimes if they are lucky, they buy you tokens. Because they don't even... No church member has money to buy you shoe. What are you saying? If you bring the money, you're going to do posters and do crusade. What are you telling me? And God said, is that how crazy you both can be? I mean, we never saw this. We never saw you. You were called a garage church. My people call 
Bridge ministries, bridge ministries, bridge ministries. That's the church. Bridge ministries, that's the church. They have forgotten the call as garage. Garage church. I'm not talking to somebody here at all. Read the last one. He went without knowing where he was going. May this message here alone change your mind about so many things. You want to know what is God's plan for your tomorrow. He says also, follow me, I'll make you. I won't give you, I won't tell you what I'll do to you. That's the extent to which he wants you to trust him. 